also says that King Lear, the husband of Pedro, to rule over the kingdom, was three men supervising and ruling over them. Um, Daniel was one of the three. Daniel proved to be a better supervisor than any of the others because he was very hardworking. They then made it to the other supervisors and sent up the of him, so they tried to find a reason to keep Daniel. They couldn't find anything wrong with him because yes, he was very hardworking. Now, <coughs> the supervisors, prefects, censors, advisors, governors, all agreed on something. They thought that the king should make a law and that ever has to obey. For the next 30 days, whoever prays to any god or man, except for King Darius, will be thrown into the lion's den. And then, King Darius made a law and signed it. Now, in Daniel 6, verse 10 to 18, even with these new laws, Daniel still prays to God till every day. He's very obedient to God. One day, Daniel was found praying by a group of supervisors and satraps. They told the king, and they told King Darius about this. King Darius was very sad about this, as he really liked Daniel. He thought about ways to save Daniel. But the law prevented him from doing that. <coughs> the law cannot be changed anymore. So finally, he gave the order to throw Daniel into the lion's den. Now, in Daniel 6, verse 19 to 24, in the next morning, King Darius got up just as it was getting light and ran as fast as possible to the lion's den to check on Daniel because he really liked the man. He was worried by the time he arrived, Daniel was already <coughs> dead, mauled by lions. When he arrived, he asked Daniel if he was saved by God. And of course, Daniel was. Oh. Daniel told him that the lions didn't eat him because he was angry, and also God sent angels to save him. King Darius was very <coughs> <coughs> he told his servants to lift Daniel of the lion's den. Then, King Darius gave a command to bring all the men who had accused them. They threw the men, their wives, and their children, killing them. Now, what we can learn from the story of Daniel is that we should trust God in any situation, even if we might see like Daniel prays and trusted and yeah, pray to God, and God sent his angels to save them. That's it from me. God bless.